Oh my gosh, if I have to make this video one more time, I'm going to scream. <laughs> I'm going to scream bloody murder. Um, <laughs> hello, vinyl community. Um, yes, yeah, so I originally did this as a live video. And I'll, I'm just going to say, the YouTube app for the Android phone sucks. And quite frankly, it pissed me off. <laughs> um, yeah. There's Madeline back there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Music. Oh my goodness. I have a bunch of records to show and uh, a pretty good stack of CDs, actually. <laughs> um, so let's get to it, down to it. Um, I, I met up with Mr. Matt Hayes. Um, basically, we were meeting at a new record store in Riverside called The Rat Hole. Um, yeah, so we were meeting up there. He told me he had a little something for me. And, you know, I wasn't expecting much. I, I thought maybe, you know, a, a mix CD or something. Um, but then he mentioned to it, uh, he mentioned it to me again in the store, and I thought it sounds like it's something pretty good. At least I consider it pretty good. Um, and then he told me, and I was like, "What?" Now, <laughs> before, before you get too excited, this is this is probably something only I am truly excited about. Um, it's a record I've been after for years. Um, it, it's just insane that I haven't been able to find it. I've, I've never seen it in a record store. Um, anyway, so Matt found it for me, and here it is. Wow. Corey Hart. <laughs> And again, I told you, most, you know, most people aren't going to get excited about this. You'll be like, what? <laughs> but he was one of my favorite singers, you know, when I, when I was a, a, a teenager. Um, and this song, Sunglasses at Night, come on. <laughs> and I could never find this. I always see the second and third albums. And... <sighs> So I've been after this for a very long time, and Matt was kind enough to buy this for me. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. The search is finally over. <laughs> oh, and before I, I set it aside, let me just say, <laughs> I had concerns about it because uh, he said he said it was in his car car and bear in mind we were well he was in the record store a good two hours I was in there a good probably three hours um, and so when we got back out to his car I was I was really concerned because <laughs> um, you know I was I was fully expecting to find a, a puddle of vinyl but uh it's intact and it's it's not even warped. So original inner sleeve too, cool. Um, yeah, it's great. So thank you so much, Matt. Ah, oh, the search is finally over. Finally over. Okay. Now I, I'm gonna go through this stuff kind of fast because uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my my fifth attempt at making this video so one of those attempts was the live video and that was 55 minutes so let's try and go through this quickly <laughs> all right so the first one um, I, uh, most of these from the rat uh, the rat hole uh, were a dollar88 they have dollar88 bins <laughs> So this is uh, Bob Skaggs moments. It, it just, I enjoy Bob Skaggs, and 
it, it's in pretty good condition, so I figured I'd, at that price I would pick it up. This may be a duplicate. I almost didn't get it, but I figured, ah, why not? <laughs> so, and it's also in good condition. So, REO Speedwagon wheels are turned in. And, <laughs> and it has, uh, can't fight this feeling. Um, you know, which was most definitely overplayed in its day, but, you know probably still is actually <laughs> all right this uh, this might be a duplicate as well but I don't think it is because looking at it um, I don't know I think I've seen copies of it that I've had to pass on I think that's probably what it is but the Alan Parsons project tales of mystery and imagination Edgar Allan Poe it seems very strange to me <laughs> I, I don't know, sadly I don't know the story behind this, but it has this built-in booklet. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Alan Parsons Project, I do enjoy them. Alright. Uh, this is an artist I'm, I'm sort of collecting. I'm, I'm not, like, going out of my way to collect his music, but I enjoy it. It's good, just good rock and roll. Uh, the Great Ken Band. And this is Glasshouse Rock. Alright, here's a couple that I'm pretty excited about. And these were only uh, five bucks each. Um, Blue, Blue Oyster Cult. The Revo Revolution by Night. The Revolution by Night. And also by Blue Oyster Cult, um, Cultosaurus Erectus, and it has the nice price. Um, this one, <laughs> it was originally in the dollar eighty-eight bin, but he he said that an employee uh, sort of misfiled some records. Um, I I got it thinking it was going to be a dollar eighty eight, but it, it ended up being less, you know, more than that. <laughs> Let's just say that uh, Leonard Skinner, uh, gold and platinum. But you know what? I'm very pleased, and it wasn't. It was actually it wasn't a bad deal. So. Now this I'm pretty excited about. This also was not a dollar eighty-eight. Um, hopefully he, before I go back, he'll have time to go through those dollar eighty-eight bins and pull out some of the ones that are not a dollar eighty-eight. Um, he, he's he's still working on pricing the store. So um, when we were there, he had only been open for a week. So all right, so. Um, this ended up being more as well. Charlie Parker, Volume 5. Um, fantastic. I mean... If you haven't seen the movie Bird, uh, directed by uh, Clint Eastwood, watch it. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of depressing. Charlie Parker did not have a, a happy life. But... Uh, Alright, this next one is very interesting. This this I already had in my collection, this particular copy. Um, Genesis Seconds Out. And I I bought this probably at least a few years ago now. And <laughs> stupid me. Um see there's there's one record there. All's well. But that is clearly empty. I was very, very upset when I got this home. Probably went to clean it or put it on or something. <laughs> and discovered it's missing a record. So, I even went back. Uh, I think it 
it must have been Goodwill. Um, I even went back to Goodwill and dug through the records, hoping to find this, the loose record. No such luck. So I was quite upset that it just had the one. I was like, what are the odds that you know I'm ever going to find just the record I need? Well, <laughs> so also in the dollar eighty-eight bin, and this one actually was a dollar eighty-eight. This, and let's see, there's there's a record there. But here, if I can get it open. Quite empty. So I was like, "All right, how am I, how am I supposed to remember which which record was missing?" Because I I don't even think I ever really took note. I was so upset that I, I didn't even really think to take note of which one was missing. Um, so I figured for dollar eighty eight, I'll just go ahead and and buy it and. You know, I have a 50% chance of getting, <laughs> of getting the right one. Well, I played and won. This is the second record. The other one has the first record. So together, it's the complete album. So finally, at last, I have the complete seconds out. It's, it's two uh, completely different... Let's see if I can focus on this for you. I don't know how well you can make that out, but... Yeah, I mean, there's clear differences there. So it's clearly a very different uh, pressing. So... <laughs> yeah. Um, but I don't care. I finally have the second disc. So... <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy. Um, yeah. All right. Now, everybody knows that I prefer Art Garfunkel, but I still love Paul Simon. And I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. Um, Hearts and Bones, featuring the hit single, Allergies. <laughs> yeah. Cool to pick that up. And we have some uh, James Gang, Straight Shooter. And Jeff Beck, Truth. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. Oh, I failed to mention, um, the whole reason we ended up at this new record store was so my co-worker collects records um, he actually works at a, a, a different branch than I do and uh, but we used to work together and so he collects records <clears throat> and he told me about this this new record store that opened and he had heard from a friend so I, and I basically immediately told Matt about this new record store and we agreed to meet there and then I, I contacted my, my co-worker Robbie. Uh, Robbie, if you're watching this, hello. <laughs> Thanks for the, the tip on this place. It ended up paying off. Um, so Matt and I had agreed to, to meet there and then I messaged Robbie, and, and he suggested that he might be able to go as well. So uh, all three of us ended up there, um, so that was really cool. But uh, Robbie um, highly recommended this album. He says it's a, a great album. So, And I'm again, I'm pretty sure I don't have it, but I know I have one or two others by him, but yeah, I don't, I don't think I have this one. All right, this is one of those artists I'm kind of curious about, so, um, and it's, you know, 60s era, <clears throat> so, 
I figured I, this would be a good place to start. Um, the very best of Johnny Rivers. Yeah, very cool. All right. <laughs> All right, now I have to give a shout out to longtime viewer uh, Squid Lover. Um, his, his real name is Eamon. And uh, he's always giving me uh, information about about these old artists, um, particularly in the realm of uh, AM pop and bubblegum pop and and uh, that that sort of thing. So, and we ha we had discussed this artist before, <clears throat> David Essex. Rock on, that's of course is his his big hit. Um, so I was I was pretty happy to find this actually. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> All right, now this one is is interesting because it it predates a key member of what we know the band to be. Journey, and this is next, so it's it's before Steve Perry, and um, yeah, I mean I love Steve Perry, but this is probably going to be pretty darn good. <laughs> All right, then we have some uh, Doctor Hook, and this is uh, Doctor Hook and the Medicine Show. Very cool. Uh, oh yes, uh, the tubes. I have a few by them now. And this is now. <laughs> this is called now. All right, so that was it for the rat hole. Um, you see I did pretty well, so. I'm, I'm very pleased, and I, I just looked through a fraction of the stuff, and he says he still has 50,000 records to put in the store. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, he said he said the $1.88 bins are going to be packed, so I'm looking forward to that. All right, so <clears throat> this is going back to, uh, I don't know, a, a couple weeks ago, something like that. Uh, I just popped into uh, Mad Platter and just found a few items. And uh, the first one I'm actually pretty excited about, even though it's a seven-inch, um, Devotchka. And this is straight shot, backed with "Give Me Something to Believe." And uh, straight shot is from the forthcoming album "This Night Falls Forever." And uh, I, I think I actually put it in there wrong, but the, it has the little hype sticker there. Um, and also, you'll know it was two dollars. So only two dollars for a brand new 45 of a band I love. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. Um, what uh, what genre? Well, they kind of go in a number of different directions but essentially indie pop indie rock, indie folk but with some definite um, world music influences including uh, gypsy music um, yeah but I, fr I first discovered them on the soundtrack to Little Miss Sunshine check out that soundtrack and that song in particular I don't remember what it's called right now but oh amazing amazing stuff I love it so I was thrilled to find this and I will definitely be checking out their new album yeah all right uh, the next two were in a sale bin so they had the original price and then they were marked down to 999 and then from there they were 
uh, buy one get one free so it ended up being five dollars each so I, I got two of them um, both well one is a blind buy the other I, I'm familiar with the artist but not necessarily the album so this is the blind buy it is uh, Autre Nevoot Age of Transparency and from what I understand, it's, it's considered alternative R&B. And I'm, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> but I will be very curious to hear it. Uh, still sealed, you know, the rap is coming off a little bit, but it is technically still sealed. A double LP for five bucks. So I wasn't going to pass that up. <laughs> and then the other one that was part of the sale... Um, and again, an artist I'm familiar with. Uh, this particular album, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not sure that I've ever heard it. Probably not. Um, Matt Pompier, Last Light. Yeah. Um, if I remember correctly, you know, indie pop, indie rock, indie folk music. Um, I guess I, I kind of lean towards those genres. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's been a while since I listened to him, actually. All right. Now we're down to the last of the records. Um, I think I'm making a slightly better time than I did in the live video. <laughs> but this is still going to be a long video. Um, all right. I'm... I was so thrilled to find this, because um, <clears throat> it's getting to the point where it, I'm not seeing um, albums I don't already have by this particular artist. And you know, it's one of my favorites now, uh, the Guess Who, and this is All This For A Song. So thrilled to pick up another one of their albums. I love the artwork there. <laughs> Very, very cool. So excited. My Guess Who collection is really coming along, so... Alright, so on to the CDs. Now, this one I, I showed a while back. It's a, a series, 100 Hits, that I'm very, very interested in, because there's a lot of them. Um, a lot of them focus on decades of music. Some focus on genres, and then others have themes. <laughs> so this one is is hits from the movies, and it's really, really good. Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. Um, so uh, this was kind of the deciding factor that, okay, I am going to collect this series. So, uh, and again, I had already showed that one, but this is one that I believe I haven't shown. So, <laughs> uh, 100 hits, just to be, just be good to me. 100 perfect songs for your day. Which, the, the theme is kind of ambiguous. It, to me, it suggests that it's uplifting songs, but... Some of them I, I don't consider uplifting at all, but, um, so I don't know. Uh, the theme on this one is a little iffy, but it still has some great songs. Um, unfortunately, uh, it starts with Bill Withers' Lovely Day, which, you know, I guess some would consider that an uplifting song. Um... It's just, uh, when I worked at my previous employer that was on the playlist, and I grew to hate that song. <laughs> um, I think Bill Withers' voice it was not intended to hold out a long note. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I, I hate that song, but, uh... The rest of this is, is really good, actually. Um, I, I do notice they, they try to kind of have a theme for, for each disc so that 
each disc sounds cohesive like you might have one that leans more towards electronic music one might be more like retro music like that sort of thing but still very good and I'm, I'm still planning on, on getting more of these um, here's just some of them I'll focus on that for you so you have you have genres you have decades um, yeah and that's only a fraction of the ones available they have so many available <laughs> so yeah I'm definitely gonna keep collecting these each one is, is five CDs and uh, uh, 100 songs, obviously. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you know, I was going to look these up, but it, it would have just taken too long. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a big pile. Uh, so I might not be able to tell you specifics about some of them, but against me, I know I've heard them, um, and they're, you know, heavier, I, I, but beyond that, I can't tell you much about them, but this is White Crosses, I think, I think they were on, uh, I used to get a lot of, uh, magazines that came with free compilations, um, either CDs or even cassettes, um, back in the day. And uh, I'm pretty sure they were on one of them. Uh, I think that's where I've heard of them. <clears throat> okay. Originally, I bought this for my wife. Um, the Killers, Day and Age. But in one of the previous times that I was showing this, <laughs> when I recorded this video, Notice the last track. Good night, travel well. That is one of my all-time favorite songs. It's just, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous song. Just, and it it builds to a real crescendo. And if you haven't heard "Good Night, Travel Well" by The Killers listen to it <laughs> so good I highly recommend that song so I'm, I'm thrilled it's on here and uh, yeah and now I'm thinking well maybe she doesn't have the CD maybe she just has the the um, on her iTunes because I don't remember seeing the CD before but anyway I might have to keep this anyway so Especially if she has it on her computer. <laughs> Ooh, my throat is dry. All right. Um, a band, you know, that... Um, I'm, I'm curious to hear another album by them, because th there's the one big album that they had um, mid-late 90s, and... Uh, Anyway, I'll just show it. The Wallflowers. Of course, uh, Jacob Dylan is Bob Dylan's son. And this one, I think, is from 2002. So, you know, a few years or maybe even several years after his, their big album, uh, their breakout album. So, I'll be curious to hear it. <coughs> This is... I'm really starting to lose my voice now. <laughs> oh, man. This is... Uh, uh, well, it's Lecrae, Anomaly. And it's Christian rap. And let me tell you... Um, unfortunately, you know, it, it, people have the sort of image of Christian music being kind of cheesy and, you know, but as Scott Waters will point out, there's some really, really, really good Christian music out there, and supposedly, as far as rap goes, this is one of them, um, 
So I'm very curious to hear this. He's a big name in Christian rap. So the the fact that I found this, I was pretty darn excited because it's a, a genre I'm very curious about. Um, because one of the big things I have against rap is very frequently the subject matter is just appalling. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that should that should be better. <laughs> um, a band I I used to really be into them, um, but Everclear. Uh, this is um, the best of Everclear. Ten years gone, 1994 to 2004. <clears throat> All right, now this one. Wow. I I had this album uh, back in the 90s. And I quickly lived to regret getting rid of it. Um, it's a fantastic album. Most people haven't heard of them. The Bogman is closed caption radio and uh, the <laughs> the sort of single I guess is a song called Mexico and it's this really happy song about wanting to be buried in Mexico so <laughs> yeah and then also, it, um, it has an, uh, an unlisted secret track. Um, yeah, it has an unlisted secret track that uh, I put on a, a mix CD for my wife years ago. Really, really good. Like a, I hesitate to call it a power ballad. Uh, it's very, it's very intense though, and and the lead singer's voice. It's just there's just something about it. I love that song. Uh, it's basically it's I think it's considered track 13, <clears throat> but uh, it's essentially called Destiny. Yeah, so Bogman definitely check them out. <clears throat> A little bit of blues. Um, one of the handful of records I I bought. For myself when I was a kid was Robert Cray. It wasn't this one, but um, I really enjoyed it. I played the heck out of it. And uh, so this is Robert Cray, some rainy morning, you know, basically contemporary blues, electric blues. Yeah, good stuff. <clears throat> now, my wife and I were recently listening to. Frank Sinatra and I declared that although I love Frank Sinatra I, I think Tony Bennett is better um, so it's very fitting that I found Tony Bennett perfectly Frank he's he's doing uh, covers of, of songs that Frank Sinatra made famous so that's pretty cool <clears throat> all right uh, if there's any Fallout Boy fans out there, um, you probably know this guy, uh, the lead singer Patrick Stump. Um, not, yeah, it's basically a blind buy for me. Um, it's supposedly a, a, a mix of like uh, uh, soul and soul pop and maybe indie rock or something, something like that. Um, it's been a while since I read up on it but and almost all these are still sealed so haven't listened to them yet <clears throat> and <clears throat> in a similar vein if there are in any uh, evanescence 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 <laughs> if there are any evanescence fans out there um, we are the fallen is basically uh, evanescence with a different female lead singer. And this is Tear the World Down. So, you know, hard rock. Mm. Yeah. 
heavy metal pop, like, I guess. <laughs> Uh, this one is like a true blind buy. I I don't even remember what genre, um, but White Lie is a ritual. <clears throat> My throat is really starting to hurt now. <laughs> oh. um, this one, I want to say it's it's in the realm of art rock. I could be entirely wrong on that now because again. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, but it's uh, shiny toy guns Season of poison yeah. <clears throat> uh, This guy's a, a Multi-instrumentalist, uh, but he, he performs under the name the rocket summer and this is of men and angels This one I'm pretty excited about. Um, in that batch of CDs, where I was focusing on getting sealed CDs, I was like, no, I, this, it doesn't matter if this one's open or not. Uh, Dropkick Murphys. I, I love Irish punk music. Um, and this is like the cream of the crop for that. So, uh, Dropkick Murphys, Sing Loud, Sing Proud. <coughs> <clears throat> uh, about eight left, seven or eight. Um, some hard rock, heavy metal, um, Wolf Mother. This is Cosmic Egg. All right, this one I'm I'm very curious to listen to. Um, it's a band I'm not familiar with. I I had never heard their name before. Um, but it's late 60s, early 70s soul music. And it's uh, Cashmere Stage Band. <clears throat> it's a double CD. So this looks very interesting. Very interesting. Can't wait to hear that. Th uh, another just complete blind buy. I got it mostly because of the artwork. It's pretty crazy. King Thick. And this is Warren's Harry Leonard. Oh, yeah. Just a blind buy. I, I, it looks like it's an EP. And I suspect it's some kind of heavier music, maybe experimental music. I'll have to find out on that. <clears throat> Uh, this one, um, it, it first comes off as, as you, you know, you might think it's um, just smooth jazz or something, but it's Trombone Shorty with Back of Town, and um, he gets into a, a variety of, of genres, um, including, you know, smooth jazz, contemporary jazz, um, but he also gets into other um, genres as well. Um, I'm, I'm struggling to, to remember what those genres were now. Uh, I don't remember if hip-hop was one. Um, and I think there was even mention of, of hard rock or metal, which is very strange. But um, So it should be an interesting mix of sounds. But basically, basically it's jazz. <clears throat> All right, a few more here. Um, Robin, uh, this is Body Talk Part 2, um, basically dance pop. And the last two are, um, I already showed a, a rap album, uh, but these are not Christian rap. <laughs> um, Yellow Wolf, this is Trunk Music, 0 to 60. Um, basically, southern rap um, and alternative rap. Yeah, southern rap usually reminds me of uh, Kid Rock. I know he's not specifically rap, but he he does some some rap and southern music. So there you go. 
that in my mind I make that connection. <laughs> and the last one, whoo, uh, Nas or Nas, um, and this is like uh, East Coast rap and political rap, and that's that's was kind of the selling point for me, because. I don't, I don't so much care, you know, what the, what they're rapping about, as long as it's intelligent, you know, it, I mean, if, if they're just talking about, you know, gutter topics, I don't know, they're selling themselves short, <laughs> um, but political rap, I can get behind that, so. Anyway, there you go, my goodness. And um, in the background, we've been enjoying, hopefully enjoying. Um, I looked up a, a channel on YouTube called Here We Go. It's uh, copyright free music. And uh, yeah, it worked out nicely. Um, I have it playing on the TV, actually. So, uh, I, I, I think it was pretty good, uh, background music. Um, I, I chose the chill, they have different styles, and I cho uh, chose the chill ambient, so, uh, yeah, and it's, it's supposedly copyright free, so I shouldn't get in any trouble. <laughs> Anyway, whew, I need to rest my throat, my goodness. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.